This is the Hendricks College men's basketball coach, Joe Mayerkold. I'm here with the head coach, Thad McCracken. You guys have played in five or six games uh, since we last talked talked about the team so far, coach. Yeah, you know, really proud of the guys. Um, obviously, we're going through a rough stretch, a rough, uh, rough first two thirds of the season. Um, but the guys are showing up every day, just trying to get better. We're trying to stay in the process, um, and we are. You know, I, I think if you look at our record, it, it's not indicative to our team at all. Um, you know, we've gone on the road here a lot. We haven't been at home for about six weeks now. And, uh, you know, I, someone told me the other day we've played 12 games now that, that we've lost, but it's been one possession either way with about two minutes to go. And we're inexperienced and we're young a little bit, um, especially at the guard spot. And that's just something that you kind of have to figure out. Um, but the guys are putting us in, in good positions to have a chance. We just got to get over the hump. And I think once we taste one, um, we'll have the confidence that we need to, to try and keep it going. A couple of co close games recently took center to overtime. You had Rhodes down late, um, but John Ogle's been performing well lately. Preston Smith, talk a little bit about those guys. Yeah, you know, um, John's really stepped up as a senior and, and probably our most experienced guy aside from, uh, aside from Drew. Um, but John's really stepped up and and tried to kind of put the team on his back a little bit. And that's what we needed someone to do. And, you know, you have to have a guy that the team looks to on the court. You know, when they're all out there and, and things aren't going their way, they can't glance to me. I can't do anything but call timeout or, or call a set. You know, and, and somebody's got to grab the ball and go put it in the hoop. Or someone's got to go make a play at, at the defensive end of the floor. And that's what John's been doing for us. Um, and I'm really proud of him. And, and again, I think he's the reason that our team, he and, and Drew and, and um, Bruce Baker, you know, doesn't get the credit he deserves. Those guys are keeping our team hungry, keeping our team working hard every day and, and continuing to practice with energy and passion. And, and we're learning a little bit of toughness along the way. You got some contributions from guys you don't normally get contributions from Saturday night at Rhodes. Talk about how that helped the team. Yeah, you know, you've always got to have people step up. You know, this has been a, a very uh, injury-laden season for us. You know, we've obviously – had the two season ending injuries um, to two senior guards, um, which, which hurts and certainly changes the dynamic of your team. But we've also had guys out with illness. You know, John's missed a couple games, Garrett missed a game and a half. Um, you know, we've had a lot of guys out. And when that happens, it's next guy up. You know, that's an opportunity for someone else. And that's exactly how they have to look at it. They've got to be ready to step up and make the most of that opportunity. And I feel like guys are starting to do that. And our confidence is. Um, is higher than, than you'd expect right now, um, and hopefully we continue to grow in a, in a positive way. And you mentioned it, you guys are finally back home this weekend, six weeks on the road, Friday night, Barry, Sunday against Oglethorpe. Talk about those games for us, Coach. Yeah, it's really nice to be home. You know, it, during the break, you go on the road, and, and um, I'd much rather be on the road during the break. You know, we want to play, our guys certainly want to play when the students are here. Um, and there's people in the crowd. Um, and, and as everyone knows, that's not the case during the break. And our break is longer than anyone else's in the league. Um, and so it, it, it's hard on us. It's hard on our guys. We've been here working hard, and, and no one's been here with us. Um, but, uh, you know, now we get to be at home. Students will be here. Hopefully the guys, you know, getting back into the rhythm of, of waking up in the morning and, and going to class helps, you know, kind of get their mind off of basketball all the time. And, <laughs> Um, a little change of environment may be a good thing right now. Um, but yeah, two games, two conference games this weekend, um, two good teams. Um, we're going to be we're going to be challenged both nights. But uh, you know, I think we'll be ready, and I'm real happy with with where we are. Coach, thank you very much. Thank you, Eric.